guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to break down the fan kick, which is a very classic pole dance move. Um, it's really beautiful to incorporate into your dancing around the pole and yeah, it also builds a lot of strength and active flexibility, which is another reason why I love it and why I still use it in my choreography today. It's um, a really good move as a transition to throw in between different moves and combos to add more flow and it's also a very um, impactful move, it makes you look super flexible, so yay! Always good, always good to impress the audience. So, I'll break it down on the floor so that you understand exactly what your hips are doing because it's easy to get this move wrong and to not use it to its full potential. So the movement is coming from your hips as much as possible. So I'm going to break it down on the floor and then we'll get it onto the pole. So, heels on if you like, also works in bare feet. Let's get our dance on. So with your fan kick, the straightness of your legs is important, not necessarily the width of your legs because the movement of your hips is going to create the, um, the illusion of flexibility so it works. So remember, point your toes always, all the way through your ankles and keep those legs straight, pushing those knees forward as much as you can. So in our fan kick, we're rolling from hip to hip, so to speak. So if I'm starting on the ground, and I recommend trying this out so that you get used to the movement. I'm on completely on my side, I'm on one hip, as you can see, to the floor. One leg at a time. The top leg is always leading, or the inside leg. Extend the leg, take it towards your face, opening, 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 so I can roll into the middle, onto both hips, then I'm going to roll to the other side, other hip comes down to the floor, and other leg closes. And again, back the other way, top leg starts at the inside leg, pull it towards your face, open nice and straight, roll into the center as wide as you can with those legs. Roll to the other side, other leg closes, and repeat. So rolling through your hips, side to side, and side to side. So important to keep that in mind, you want to keep your legs open as much as possible in this move, for the illusion of flexibility, as much as you can, and rolling through your hips as much as possible. The more you can move them, the, um, the bigger the move is going to look. So now let's try it on the pole. So this is a move that you need to have on both sides. It's not enough to train on one side only. So I'm going to start off in a strong hold position on the pole. So my inside armpit is wrapping around and my hips are in front of the pole. Fingers will come wrapped around, keeping that elbow um, around the pole, armpit grip. Second hand on top, about head level. So I'm pulling my shoulders back and down. As we talked about in previous tutorials, it's very important to use your shoulders pulling them down all the time. So from here, pulling my shoulders down, I'm going to releve onto the ball of my foot on my tippy toes, regardless of if I'm in heels or not. So if my hips are in front of the pole, I'm going to start with that inside leg that I talked about, that is starting the movement. Inside leg is coming up, and I'm rolling my legs to the middle, hips open nice and wide, and rolling to the other side. Both feet down and turn on the spot. So this can be pretty tricky if you're a beginner to do it super slow and deadlifting as I demonstrated just there. You can use a little bit of momentum if you so wish. Of course, try to use as much core strength and as much shoulder strength as possible so that you build strength every time you do this move. Um, so let me demonstrate one more time, a little bit faster so you can see what's happening. Remember, you don't have to deadlift unless you're super strong and, and if you are super strong, then why not deadlift? If you're a beginner, don't worry about that right now. Inside arm coming around, pulling both shoulders back and down, down my spine. Inside leg, the one that's closest to the pole is starting to move. I'm reaching away from the pole, so I can start to bring that leg up and over, both hips open to the middle, close and down. On the other side, hip in front of the pole, inside arm wraps around in my armpit. Second hand on top, shoulders pull down. Inside leg is pulling away from the pole, so we can pick that. Double rainbow effect with the legs. Leg comes away towards my face to the center and up and over. So using momentum in this move, let me go back to the original side, setting my grip up, pulling my shoulders down. So I can use a little tiny bit of momentum. Remember, you never want to jump or throw yourself at the pole. Just a little bit of a gentle swing and keeping that hip in against the pole so I don't bash myself against it. That can be pretty painful. You can also bash the side of your group, which you don't want. So remember, pulling it away from the pole so that I can turn to the inside. So inside leg is leaning, away from the pole, towards the pole, and to the other side, it will turn on the spot. 
Opposite side, inside our arms around, and exit hand on top. Then we'll swing away from the pole and towards the pole, and it's opening to the center. And repeat. So that is your fan kick. Good luck with this move. Remember to open your legs as much as possible and keeping them as straight as you can. Don't worry if you're learning this move and you can't get your legs straight or as high just yet. You can keep them pretty low to begin with, still looks very pretty. And if, they're, if you're not able to get them straight yet, that takes quad strength. It's okay to do this move with bent legs as you're learning it. Obviously, it changes the move and it looks very different, but that's okay to try it until you get used to it. But do try with straight legs, pretty low to begin with. And you can make it higher as higher the more core strength, um, hip and quad strength that you get. So good luck with your practicing and remember to incorporate it into your um, spin combo so it becomes uh, part of your dance and not just a standalone trick once you've got it. So good luck guys, remember to check out our website irishpoladscademy.com for more tutorials and also information about our classes as well as private lessons which are also available over Skype for those of you who are not in Ireland. So see you soon, have fun dancing!